Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today I want to take you guys into the Unity Elite chat and show you guys a replay from a noob named Alex. Now, as I said, Alex is a noob, and if I've ever shown replays from this guy, they've been like 98% one stars or, you know, massive, massive hog fails. So, I want everybody to say, what's up, Alex, and then say, Alex is a noob. Anyways, guys, now we're going to watch a great attack from Alex. This is a go hog strategy. He's going to go in with a bunch of golems. Heroes, witches, wizards, and then on the other side of the base, he's gonna drop hogs. Now, if you're gonna use hog riders against a town hall 10, you've gotta be creative like this. So let's check it out, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Now, he has a jump spell up front. That's to get all his troops over that wall so they can hit that inferno. That's the most important part of this. He's gotta take out the inferno or else his hogs are gonna be bacon. They're gonna be burnt. So let's see what he does. He's gonna drop the hogs soon here. There they go. And right on a bomb. That is so Alex. Drop your hogs right on a giant bomb. He somehow comes back from the brink of death with a heal spell. Good job, Alex. Quick thinking. Now he's gonna get in there. Hopefully freeze. Yep, he froze the inferno. That's good. His hogs should be going to it soon. Nah, his hogs really aren't going to that inferno as quickly as he would like, but they should loop back around pretty soon. I mean, hogs, they go through defenses real quick. Hogs are so sick. If you can, you know, if you can take on a Town Hall 10 with them with some supporting troops, they're going to work great. They go through defenses so fast, and if you keep them alive, they're great. But they're a little vulnerable to those bombs. But wow, Alex made it look easy. A noob named Alex just three-starred a decent Town Hall 10. You'll notice uh, he had some balloons on the back side there on the bottom right. That's a big help. Anything you can do at the end of a raid to throw in and take out a few more defenses as quickly as possible, it's going to really help those hog riders just sort of wrap up the base. So, boom! Alex did it! So proud of you, Alex. You'll notice some. Um, Alex has like level 30 heroes. Dude's been playing as long as me. He should have level 40 heroes. He should have a max base like me. He just... I don't know. I don't know what he does. I have no idea. Like, he does stuff like this. He attacks bases for no loot, just for, like, fun or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, look at how well he did here. He's got a lot of troops left. He's got a witch left. Witches die so easily. He's got a ton of hogs left. He's got his archer queen left. If your heroes survive an attack like this, you've executed pretty well. So, good job, Alex. Killing it. Oh, could he get a 99% two-star? No, he's only got one building. And Archer Queen should seal the deal. Boom! Take it out, Archer Queen. You got this. Two shots. Pfft, I think mine would have got it in one. Anyway, good job, Alex. Really nice attack. As I said, though, no loot there. And, you know, the Dark Elixir he spent on that raid was more than what he got back. But he got 28 trophies, and uh, maybe he wanted those, I don't know. So anyways, great job, Alex. And this really inspired me to try this out. I tried a similar attack out on my Town Hall 8 account, kind of a go wipe with hogs, but now we're gonna do it on the Town Hall 10. Just like Alex did, we have the same army, and we're gonna take on a similar base. This is actually maybe even a little lower level than what Alex took on, because of the Infernos are a little lower level. But, you know, this is the first one I found, guys, and I wanted to show you a raid real quick. So we're gonna try it out. Now I'm gonna start on the bottom right, so I can go in there and take out the Barb King as quickly as possible. Looks like this base only has one hero as well. Uh, Alex's base only had one hero, so that's gonna make it a little easier. Anytime you're in matchmaking and not clan wars, it's gonna be slightly easier sometimes, you know, because they might not have both heroes. They might not have all the traps, etc. So let's dump our clan castle right on the- Whoa! Whoa, Bomb almost, almost took us out there, but looks like we're okay. Yeah, we are getting in there. We're gonna kill this base. So. At the beginning of this raid, it's a little nerve-wracking. You know, you don't know how far your troops are going to get. I haven't even dropped my heroes yet because I want to make sure they get into that compartment. Looks like the uh, base is open now so I can start dropping them. But yeah, you want to make sure they go into, straight into the base. Now there goes the jump spell. Again, that's to make your troops bunch up, get over that wall, and get that inferno. Get it, guys. All right, Arch Queen's basically locked onto it, or the general vicinity of it. No matter how stupid she is, she's going to take that down. Arch Queen can be so stupid sometimes, but um, I just dropped one barb on the other side to check what's in the clan castle. Kind of forgot to do that earlier, and it's a P.E.K.K.A. Dude has a P.E.K.K.A. on defense, so we're going to lightning it because we're real smart. That's what we do. That's what we do in Beaker's Lab. We lightning P.E.K.K.A.s. Yeah! So let's drop the hogs, guys, right into a heal spell, and then we're going to freeze that other inferno. What? We should be able to take it out real quick. Yeah. Okay, so we wrapped up that side of the base. Now we really only have a couple sections that need to be cleaned up. 
and I have some balloons, just like Alex did. I even have another heal spell, but I'm not gonna need it because, you know, this was a fairly easy base. But yeah, guys, this is where we're gonna drop the balloons. We're gonna drop them on the bottom side, just to sort of speed up things. We really weren't gonna need them, so this just demonstrates how strong this was. We just trolled this dude so hard, he's gonna log on and be like, why, why? You know, I mean, we we just trolled him so hard. We have a spell left. Uh, we took everything he had. I don't think he had any loot, really. Uh, not enough to to make it worth it. But you know, it's the it's the thought that counts. We wanted to be like Alex. We wanted to just hit somebody up for the sake of hitting somebody up. And there we go. We still have our arch queen left, a bunch of hogs, a witch as well. So I'm just like you, Alex. I know how it's done. So yeah, I tried this in the past, but it didn't go this well. But you know, after seeing some successful replays from it, it really helped me, you know, figure out how to do it. So uh, great job, B. I almost just said great job, B. <laughs> great attack by me. Uh, worked out pretty well. Next, we're gonna try it in Clan Wars. That's not gonna happen in this video because there's no Clan Wars going on right now. But in the next war. We're gonna try this out and hopefully we can find you know not too high level of a base i don't want to take on something that's completely maxed but i do want to i do want a three star base in clan wars with this army because guys not all of us want to use air air tactics every time you know we we sort of grew up grow up like using um ground troops most of us anyway from town hall six on i used like giants you know bar barch wall breakers so i really like the ground army and that's why i like this and i also just love hog riders hog riders are so sick when they're jumping walls just tearing around a base love them so guys now that we're back at the base we have a ton of gold and we've got to spend it or else noobs are going to start you know smashing in my base and trying to take it so guys let's go ahead and spend some of this gold Yo, don't tell anybody, guys, but this gold is stolen. This is hot, and I'm not going to go down for this, so I'm just going to dump it right now into these walls. Boom! That's going to put us at 31 walls left. Now we're going to do one more, and the big 3-3-0! Three, three, oh, 30 walls left, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. Now we can dump the clan castle loot into it as well. It's going to put us at 29! Are you kidding me? This is going like crazy. We are going to be at 25 soon. And then, you know, I might just retire there. I might say, call it quits right there, you know? Nah, that ain't me. You know I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna keep going until we are maxed, but we are gonna take our time and enjoy this because this is sick. This is a farmed max, bit, max base, guys. We are so close to it, getting there. So guys, stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing a lot more walls in the near future. We're gonna be working on the Town Hall 8 account as well, which is going to Town Hall 9, which I can't wait for. To all the longtime viewers of Beaker's Lab, thank you so much for sticking with me. And all of the new viewers, what's up? Welcome to the channel, guys. You make this possible. You cheer me on to farm a max base and work on my other accounts as well. So thank you so much for the support. You guys rock. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.